The world is full of magic, energies, and so many possibilities. What if I told you, you can have anything you want? Yes, anything. Because with the universe, anything is possible. You are magic. Your thoughts are powerful. Your words are powerful. And what you believe is what you attract into your world. With the power of manifestation, you can create anything you want. Yes, anything you want. My shop, Jalissa's Manifestations, provides the tools to help you attract your desires, your wishes, your dreams. My candles are infused with crystals which hold energies and specific herbs to attract your manifestations. All you need is a wish and to believe. Energies are real and control your moods and what you attract. Sometimes we can feel depleted or in need of a boost of energy and that's what my spiritual baths are for. Cleansing, protecting, attracting love, abundance, and opportunities. The possibilities are endless. All you need is to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the magic inside you. Just believe. Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are blessed. It is your girl, Jalissa. Hi. So we're here today to do a pop-up reading, okay? This is a collective reading, guys. This may or may not resonate with you, and that is okay. Just know if you were drawn here that there are messages for you here today. Bless. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate with you, baby, okay? As this is a general reading. Now, guys, really quickly, I want you to know that there will be an extended reading available to whoever is interested, all right? The link for that extended will be listed down below, as well as a lot of information that I have to offer. If you guys need any spiritual goodies, you may find your goodies at my shop. So I have a manifestation shop, FYI, real quick. And if you need anything from candles, baths, mists, crystals, books, divination tools, all sorts of things, go ahead and check out my shop. It is listed down below with a promo and I have free shipping all month. Bless. All right, so let's get it. Let's go, baby. Okay, um, I am getting some love energies. I feel like there is tension, possibly confusion in a certain area of your life. Okay, I am getting love, though. So there may be some sort of confusion in a connection, a relationship right now. All right, you may be needing some certain answers. All right, so let, let's let's get it, let's go. Let's see what spirit has to say. Bless. All right, guys, I am going to give you your angel number. I'll put it on this side for the usual. All right, spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, please come through and help me channel this beautiful message here today for the collective. Thank you so much. Bless. Spirit, what is the angel number for the family, for the collective here today? Thank you. All right, so we're going to put a heart, all right, because that's what I feel this reading is going to definitely be about. All right, so we got 3662, and 3 times 2 equals 6, so we got 666 six, six as well. All right, baby, so go onto your search engine. Put 3662, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message. And then also put 666, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your second message from Spirit. Okay? Blessed. Now, guys, if you could share your messages, I really appreciate that because I love reading them. And also, it is beneficial for the fellow viewer. Yes. All right, let's go. We're going to use my music deck to get the vibe and energy out here for us today. This music deck is available for you on my shop as well. <laughs> 
All right, spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this beautiful message here today for the collective. Bless. All right, spirit, talk to me. What's the vibe? What's the energy for this reading here today? What do they need to hear? What do they need to see? Yes. Ooh, my nose already started itching. Oh, it's going to be a deep reading. Mm -hmm. All right, so first song is Khaled, right back. Power, got me sitting by my phone. I've been waiting for hours on my line, sending mirror pics of you fresh out the shower. So I might as well swing over to your place. Mm, now it's crowded in L.A., but I'll be there at 8 if the traffic allows it. Say you're down. I could show you around. If you really about it, yeah. But for you, I got something to prove. What do you say? Mm. Oh, and then we got this throwback. Casey and, J and Jojo. All my life. This is a very deep romantic song. Okay, very deep. I love this. I will never find another lover sweeter than you, sweeter than you. And I will never find another lover more precious than you, more precious than you. Oh, All right, so let's put that over here. And back of the deck, we have Diddy, I need a girl. I had a girl that would have died for me. Didn't appreciate her, so I made her cry for me. Every night, she had tears in her eyes for me. Quarter K's, Shorty took the whole ride for me. First, we were friends, then became lovers. You was more than my girl. We was like brothers. All night, we would play fight under covers. Now you gone. Can't love you like I really wanna. But every time I think about your pretty smile and how we used to drive the whole city wild, damn, I wish you would have had my child. A pretty little girl with Diddy's smile. This shit is wild. All them days that I reminisce about the way I used to kiss them pretty lips. But as long as you happy, I'm going to tell you this. I love you, girl. And you're the one that I will always miss. Oh, that was like a love letter. I love it. All my life. Mm, I pray for someone like you. Oh, that's a deep song right there. There's so many deep songs that came through. Yes, I love it. So like I felt, we are definitely talking about love. Hello. I feel like you've been waiting, waiting for an answer. All right. Waiting for chemistry, waiting for passion. All right. This love here is something very deep. Okay. And I'm getting roots. So it's it's really deep. It goes deep, deep, deep. And maybe this situation for some of you guys could be more than a couple of years old okay i'm getting like this situation is not only deep but there's history all right and i am getting that the feelings are mutual both parties here have very deep intimate feelings for each other and what i'm getting is that you are waiting for an answer and your person feels like it may just be too late to give you that answer okay i'm getting disappointment i'm getting sadness i'm getting tears all right i'm getting a lot of like low vibrational energies from your person here they feel like they've messed up and they're not sure if they can get this back together okay i am getting friendships so you guys may have been friends before you became lovers is what i'm getting as well yes bless all right so let's see what spirit wants you to know and what spirit wants you to see yes all right, spirit, talk to me. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for the collective. Thank you so much. Bless. Spirit, talk to me. What is the message for the collective? What do they need to hear? What do they need to know? Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. We have here the nine of pumpkins, okay, which is pumpkins is pentacles in this deck. This is the hocus pocus 
tarot deck and hocus pocus was one of my favorite movies it still is so when i saw this deck i was like i must have yes 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 all right so we have the nine of pentacles here mm -hmm. what else are we getting here i want to like since this is a new deck i want to like break it break it in here we go i'm breaking it in because i want to make sure you know i'm getting single cards at a time yes all right spirit what does the family what does the collective need to hear for one you're definitely very independent okay yes you're self-sufficient you don't need this person you want this person all right we have here the six of candles all right i see that there is a lot of good coming your way babe yes and we have the knight of lightning okay and this is coming fast i see a lot of blessings coming in so fast for you which is amazing hello we have the five of pumpkins okay and then we have here the ten of pumpkins wow this is intense back of the deck we have here the lovers gemini energy and it says here max denison okay Let's get a little more out here, and then we are off into this reading. All right, Spirit, what else does the collective need to hear? What else do they need to know? All right, so very soon, there's a lot coming your way. I see that you have been feeling out in the cold. You've been feeling very much alone, all right? This is an illusion, though. You are not alone, babe. There's a lot that Spirit wants to get out here today. So let me just finish getting these cards out here. We have Millennial, okay? So we're talking about people born. I believe mill Millennials are born between... 1970 something and 1999 i believe correct me if i'm wrong in the comments yes we also got shipping all right so i do feel like you guys are from that time frame doesn't have to be but maybe majority of the viewers are because that's what's coming out here we have low key okay mm-hmm I see that you are very adventurous. We have flexing, all right? Mm-hmm. We have adulting. Okay. And we have orbiting. Aw, all right? And back of the deck, we have in their fields. Okay. We are going to clarify, but let's touch base with the surface first, okay? Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for the collective thank you so much bless mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm seeing entrepreneurship all right so i don't know if you guys are entrepreneurs or you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur but i do see that if you adventure in this field becoming an entrepreneur self-employment having your own business you will be very successful fyi first message coming out all of you guys are not entrepreneurs i know it's okay. That is just spirit letting you know that you have what it takes, okay? Some of you guys are, though. And I see that you're very diverse. I see that there is a lot coming your way, especially when it comes to relationships, okay? You're wishing that you were that you will stay together or you will be together with a particular someone. Mm -hmm. You're rooting for this partnership and you're a little bit like concerned. I see that you're caught up in your feelings and at times you're letting your emotions control you instead of you controlling your emotions. And that's because you have deep feelings for this person. OK, there is very deep feelings here. And don't worry, because what I see is that. This is going to orbit right back to you, all right? Things are happening for you right now. I see that this person is keeping tabs on you, all right? They're, try they're trying to stay connected with you in one way or another. This could be online with social media or this could be through friends, all right? But they do want to stay connected with you because they have love for you. They're interested in you and they would like to see where this can go, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They're actually like low key, kind of like, you know, um, I don't want to say stalking, okay, but they're definitely lurking, all right, in the shadows. So you don't see them watching. You may not see them watching because they're watching from a fake account or someone else's account, all right, but they are watching. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're soon going to be flexing on your person here, is what I'm seeing. 
all right? Because I see success coming your way. I see that you are single and abundant and that a lot of blessings are coming in. You are independent, boo. You don't need them. You want them, right? They're an accessory, not a necessity, right? So what I'm seeing here is that you are going to be in this boss energy, focusing mainly on yourself and your business, okay? Your career, your goals, your businesses, however it goes, your money ventures. I see you focusing on that. And because of that, there's a lot of fruits coming in, a lot of money coming in. I also see you getting public recognition, getting a lot of clout, a lot of views, maybe even your inbox blowing up, all right? Because I'm seeing a lot of people wanting to speak with you, a lot of people wanting to connect with you, watching you, and congratulating you on reaching milestones, okay? Because you're going to reach a milestone here is what I'm getting very soon. So things will be celebrated here. Your friends, family members, even fans. I'm getting fans, all right? These are people that admire you, that you inspire. I see a lot of people congratulating you, gassing you up, and... Basically letting you know like, wow, you're amazing. You're amazing. And I see that things are going to go very well for you when it comes to the financial department, your career, your goals. And that's coming in very, very soon. All right. You've been very disciplined when it comes to your goals and you've been very disciplined with yourself, your finances and getting things on track. And that's why things are coming your way. Now, there is this feeling of feeling alone. Okay, I'm getting loneliness. I'm getting cold. All right, you've been feeling like you're out in the cold all alone and you want to come inside. All right, and I'm getting that this has this revolves around love. All right, so when it comes to love, you may feel alone. You may feel lonely because you're not with this person. You want to be with this person, but for whatever reason, Things haven't really fallen into place for you and them. I am getting that this person is struggling financially, all right? So you guys are at different frequencies. I see that you're up here and they're here. They're trying to catch up to where you're at in life, to your achievements and your um status, okay? You may have a big status when it comes to um your career. I don't know if it's the role you play or how much bank you got but i'm just getting big status all right and your person admires you because you're so ambitious you're so motivating and um what i'm getting is that they feel like they don't match you there's a lot of insecurity here you're feeling lonely so are they they're matching your energy they feel down and out they know they haven't given you enough that's what they're telling me. I'm getting breadcrumbing, all right? So they may have not given you enough is what they're saying. They feel like they don't have enough. I'm getting a lack of mentality, all right? Right now, your person is in this lack of mentality. They feel like they don't have enough money. They don't have enough love. They don't have enough to give you. They feel like you deserve someone way better, all right? So you may be picking up this energy from your person or you may be just feeling distance from them. And that is why, all right? A lot of what's going on right now for you, baby, is ascension, transformation, okay? You may be feeling like you're on the edge, like you're unsure of what's next and it's so confusing and it gives you a little bit of anxiety and stress. Like, you know, you're blessed, but you're trying to reach the stars and it's like, how do I get there? How do I get there? And spirit is saying, gradually you will get there, okay? You are gonna reach the stars. You're meant to be a star. You're meant to be in the spotlight. You're meant to be seen. You're meant to be heard, all right? You have a message for a lot of people and spirit is saying to share your experience and to share your journey with others so that you can give them the guidance that they need okay you are a light babe and a lot of people look up to you i see that you are about to glow up yes 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 you are about to glow up there's a lot of different messages coming through a lot of great things are happening for you the only thing i'm seeing is when it comes to relationships um you know love it's a little difficult right now but things are going to transition like i said you're about to have this glow up i see you very proud of yourself i see you very flashy okay i see that at times you may feel insecure but you don't show it all right so you have a good way of um you know showing that you are confident but still not feeling fully confident about yourself okay so that is something spirit is saying that you're gonna have to work on when it comes to self working on your confidence okay your person is definitely 
showing you a facade right now. They may be showing you that they're okay, that everything's fine, that, you know, nothing's wrong. But deep down inside, your person feels this small, okay? They feel this small like an ant in a farm, how are you going to find that end? That's how tiny they feel. That's how small they feel internally. And they're having a lot of issues because of that. All right. I do see that commitment is here. There is going to be a decision whether or not you guys are going to be in this commitment. And that is here. So I'm going to see what's that about. All right. I'm going to see if it's going to be an offer coming in because I see you making a decision. Okay. I see you making a decision that's going to be for your happiness. And I see that this is going to be a long term decision. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I see you also taking charge of your life. I see you putting things together, especially when it comes to work. All right. I see you being responsible and getting more organized. I also see you maturing. Like a lot of what's going on is pushing you to like kind of, you know, I wouldn't I don't want to say grow up. All right. But mature. Everything that's happening here is pushing you to mature and see things from a different perspective. OK. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Your person is right now being very low key, all right? Your person is not in this showy, showy energy. I see that they're hiding a lot of what they're feeling and hiding a lot of what they want to say to you, okay? But secretly, they have a lot of feelings for you. I feel like they may have expressed this to you but haven't shown you, all right? There's one thing to say something. It's another to show it, you know? Actions speak louder than words, and I see that your person wants to do something big here to change the energy around you and them. Mm-hmm. 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 Right now, your person is acting a little bit like a coward, okay? And that's what Spirit is saying. Like, they're chicken. They, they're, they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid to show their face. All right, Spirit, can you clarify here this five of pumpkins for me please this five of pentacles we have the eight of swords in reverse what else spirit we have the page of pentacles in reverse uh-huh i told you mm -hmm. what else spirit we have judgment in reverse and we also have the five of cups in reverse with the fool Okay, look at that. The fool. How beautiful. All right, babe, look. What's going on here is I'm getting chaos and I'm getting drama. There may have been outside interferences interfering in y'all connection. All right, I see that your person is going to want to create harmony with you. I see them trying to repair their damage. So your person is going to go into this damage control energy where they're going to want to fix what they messed up. I see that for a while your person felt scared and stuck in a certain situation like something in their mind told them that they were stuck and that they couldn't make a move and it was their money their finances their foundation they felt like they didn't have enough for you they didn't have enough for the connection now this is them being in denial because what i'm getting is that you don't need them for that all right i see you clearly you're independent you got your own money and you're you're reaching a lot of success here and there's a lot of milestones you're about to reach so when it comes to finances, that's not what you're looking for with this person is what I'm getting, all right? Um, you're just looking for that companionship, that partnership, that love. And I see that you guys mirror each other. You guys definitely have a lot of things in common. And what I'm getting is that your person for some time thought that because they didn't have this money advantage, they didn't have this money to offer, this foundation to offer you, that they weren't good enough for you. And they're still kind of feeling this way, but they're releasing this. This this is them being in denial, all right? Being scared and in denial about the connection and themselves. And what's going to happen is your person is going to be releasing this thought, this thought process, this energy, this perspective of, you know, if you don't have a lot of money or you don't have a house and a car and, you know, designer, et cetera, et cetera, that you're not wanted. All right. This this thought, this energy, I see your person purging it and releasing it because they know that it ain't right. All right. They know that they've been in denial for far too long 
And it is time to make a change, even though they're scared to make a change. So what I'm seeing is your person coming in to apologize to you, all right? Apologize to you because they don't want to be out in the cold. They don't want to be away from you, babe. They want actually a new beginning with you. They want to make things right. They want this commitment with you, okay? They want to change this nine of pentacles to a ten of pentacles, all right? They don't want you single and abundant. They want you committed with a long-term relationship with them, mm-hmm. They don't want you single and abundant. No, no, no. Look, they're deciding. Mm -hmm, and this is coming in very, very quickly. All right. Because we have the Knight of Candles here. All right. Right now, they're hermit. Right now, they're going through this soul search. And they're finding themselves. And they're going through that Knight of the Shadows vibe. All right. They're facing their shadows. They're facing their fears, their traumas. All right. But very soon, I see that your person is going to make a decision about this commitment, about this connection. All right. They're they're finding their own light. They're going within to figure things out because they know that for one, they're not happy. And for two, they're lonely. And for three, they're missing you. OK, they don't want to miss out on this connection with you is what I'm getting. And they want to make things right if you're open to it. All right. So these are the two messages that spirit wanted you to hear. For one, this connection is not over. I see the apologies coming through. I see your person wanting to make amends with you, want to make things right with you, all right, want to move on from the past. And I see them asking you for forgiveness. And I see this hope returning and recovery here. So this is very beautiful. That's your one message, all right? Commitment is in the air, yes. And your other message is, babe, keep pushing, okay? You are like starting something new or you're doing something new you're doing something very creative all right is what i'm getting and you're gonna be very successful as not only are fruits coming in we're talking about moolah money abundance prosperity but also clout and recognition is coming in as well so people are recognizing your creative energy and your craft and what i'm getting is excellent all right people feel like you are excellent at what you do and you will be celebrated so there's a lot coming your way babe right now spirit is saying just to you know weather the storm right now you're going through a transition right now you are ascending and this is not easy this is a little difficult this is you purging certain energies and belief systems so that you can move up that ladder and get to the stars because that's where you're going you're going to the stars you're going to be touching the scar the stars baby yes 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 okay so Work on cleansing your energy, meditating, getting grounded, and reaching them stars. You could do this by practicing meditation if you can. All right, you could Google meditation songs, practice meditation. If it's difficult for you to sit still and close your eyes and clear your mind, you could try a warm bath, okay? Add bath salts to that bath, a spiritual bath if you can, if you need. I have on my shop. Or you can um, take a hot shower, a hot steamy, like a hot steamy shower, and let your body relax. Okay, the hot water will relax your muscles, that tension in your body, and release the stress and clear your mind. These are different ways where you can meditate, clear your mind, and clear your energy. Okay, and get grounded. Definitely go into nature, babe. Go get your feet in the grass or the sand or the lake, however it goes, the ocean. Go into nature and tap in with Mother Nature. Recharge yourself. This is going to be really beneficial for you at this time. All right, baby? Bless. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys. So that is all, folks. I'm going to get some messages now from your person real quick. See what they want to say to you. Because they are definitely in their feelings about you. Yes. They want to be with you. And they don't know how to express themselves. And they don't even know if they're good enough for you. So let's see what they want to say. Okay. From them to you. Let's go. Bless. All right. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels. Please come through and help me channel this message here today for the collective. Thank you so much. Bless. All right, Spirit. What does their person want to say to them at this time? Thank you. 
Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for the collective. Thank you so much. Bless. Spirit, what would their person like to say to them at this time? Give me a few days, please. All right, so they just need a little bit of time. They're not asking for a lot of time, just a little time to get themselves together. All right, I don't know why I hear get their story together. All right, so they have some explaining to do to you. Okay. And then we have, I don't feel good enough for you. Exactly what I was channeling, exactly what I was saying. They don't feel good enough for you. They are very insecure. All right, so they have a lot of healing to do internally. Yes. Mm hmm. I'm getting that someone from their past used to verbally abuse them. This could be a parent or a past relationship. All right. Someone used to bully them and abuse them verbally. And this has a lot to do with their insecurity. I cry when alone. Five of cups. They have a lot of regret, babe, by the way they may have spoken to you or treated you. Okay, I'm getting a lot of regret. I'm getting grief. I'm getting lost. I'm getting feeling abandoned and unloved. Okay, this is the energy your person is giving me right here with this card. And when they're alone, best to believe they're crying for you, boo boo. And they're crying about you. Mm hmm. They're hurt. They're really hurt. They just don't know how to express it. How could I hurt someone so beautiful, handsome? They don't even understand why they did what they did, all right? They're confused as to why they treated you the way they did. They don't even understand it, okay? And so they don't know how to explain it to you, okay? They don't know how to open up about it and speak about it with you. So I'm getting excuses, all right? They're trying to, like, brush it under the rug, but they're... They're understanding that that doesn't work and it's not going to work here. My whole world is falling apart. They're having a tower moment, babe. Mm -hmm. Their whole empire, their whole world is falling apart and they feel like crap. OK, they're really in a low place and in a low energy. They need to pick me up, mm -hmm. but only they can do the work that's necessary. And I do see that they are going to do the work. All right. I see that they are going to do that inner work to heal because I see them on a soul journey to try to figure out what it is about themselves that they don't understand because they don't understand certain things about themselves. All right. They're finding themselves. All right. And I see that they are going to figure it out eventually. So you're definitely going to need patience here, babe, if this is what you want. And it's safer to run than face you. Yes, because if they face you, they got to take responsibility for hurting you. And that is something they're having a hard time with right now. Okay, bless. All right, guys, listen, that is all, folks. Now I'm going off to the extended. And what I'm going to do in the extended is talk about this connection here. I want to talk about this here. I'm going to talk about the transition with your person. I'm going to talk about the commitment and the decision that you guys are going to make here for this commitment. All right. So we're going to touch base on the commitment. What is going to change with your person, their energy and their vibe. OK. And also this decision that you guys are going to make. And this is coming very soon. We're talking about within the next couple of days, maybe even a week or so. OK, we're talking now energy like this month. This is happening. OK, so we're going to see what's happening. If you want to know what it is that is going to happen with your person and all about this commitment and this decision and what's to come here in this connection, follow me. Let's go. This is going to be deep. We're going to go to the extended, do this. And then also I'm going to get a lot of messages from your person as well for you here today, along with advice and guidance from the universe. Bless. All right, guys, I hope to see you there. I will um, leave that link for you down below so you can join me. Bless. All right. I'm going off to the extended now. Guys, if this is where we're parting ways, I just want to say I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me today. It was a pleasure. Congratulations on your achievements and these milestones you're about to reach in advance. A bless, okay? And also, babe, work on this. If this is what you want, work on this. Speak to your person. Open up your heart. Try to, you know, allow them to open up their heart. Sometimes... 
the less we say is better because the more we hear. You know, let them speak. Let them open up and express to you what was going on here. Let them know that it is safe to open up to you and be honest, that you're not going to penalize them or, you know, hurt them for what they did. That way they feel open to express themselves to you and they feel safe to open up to you because they're scared to open up is what I see. All right, baby, bless. I am sending you guys so much love and positive energies. Listen, guys, if this video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. For my new viewers, hey, boo, welcome to the party. So happy to have you here. Listen, if you like it here, stay. All you have to do is subscribe and hit that bell button. And if anyone wants to be part of my weekly raffle, all you have to do is subscribe, hit that bell button, and comment down below. Winners are announced on the community board at the end of the week or the beginning of the week. So always look out to see if your username was announced. Good luck to everyone. If you need any information or you want extra details, everything is in the description down below. Yes, bless. My OGs, you already know what time it is. I love you guys so much, and I hope to see you guys in the comments, all right? And in the extended, let's get it, let's go. This is going to be juicy. Yes, bless. All right, I'm sending everyone love, light, and everything nice. Mwah. Deuces. Bless.